The best popper combo deck is also my favorite popper combo deck. I'm talking about Cycle Storm. Reaping the Graves plus Songs of the Damned. Insane stacks. Let's go do it. This is my favorite popper deck. This is Cycle Storm. So it's a deck based around Songs of the Damned, a one mana black instant that adds a black to your graveyard for each creature in there. And then you have Reaping the Graves, a black storm spell from Scourge, where you return a creature from your graveyard to your hand for each spell that you've played this turn. From there, we have tons of cycling creatures, including Dranus Stinger. So the idea is that you fill up your graveyard full of creatures that cycle, you play a bunch of spells, and then you Reaping the Graves for card advantage. Eventually, you play the Drenus Stinger, you cycle a bunch of cards, and you sting your opponent to death. That is the basic idea behind today's deck list. And this has been my deck list for the last four months? and maybe even longer if I'm being honest, and that's because Pauper has not changed. The format has just been mono red, Boro Synthesizer featuring all that glitters, stuff like that. And if the format isn't changing, my deck list isn't changing. So if you're interested, I do have a sideboard guide available that you can purchase by going to theepicsrum.com slash shop. You'll get all of my plans there. And uh, yeah, that's the deck list for today. I'll be honest with you, a lot of the comments on the last video were like, the format's fast, why not play the basic lands in the main deck, or Dahada's ploy? So I did try recording a video with a list like that, I'll be honest with you. It was terrible, Dahada's ploy was not good, it was not fast enough, or it gained enough life to make a meaningful difference versus red or the synthesizer decks. And rather than upload a video with a deck list that I don't care for, I'd rather just upload a video with a deck list that I love. So that's what I'm doing today, and if you love this video, like, comment, subscribe, I would greatly appreciate that. But without any further ado, I want to play some Popper, so I'll see you in the first match. Don't go anywhere. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, early access to videos, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us like theepicsroom.com slash shop or submitting a donation deck via theepicsroom.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. Whoops, my mic was muted. Okay, well we mulliganed a hand that wasn't keepable, and then we kept this hand, we bottomed to Lotus Petal, we played our Barrymore and passed. Alright, so our opponent is playing Cogates, usually a pretty good matchup for this deck. They do have main deck Prismatic Strands, that's a card that prevents us from winning that turn, but I still like our odds here. We'll cycle the Monstrous Carabid. No land, we'll cycle Street Wraith. There's a Great Furnace. We'll play that, cycle the Monstrous Carabid. Pass the turn. They play another Gate and a Sacred Cat. Right now, I'm wondering if we can win the game. So let's see what our draws are and then we can make a decision. Cycle Street Wraith. If I draw Songs of the Damned, I'm probably going for it. All right, we'll cycle Draineth Healer. Deadly Dispute, it's not a bad one. So Dark Ritual, you know what, I want to go for it. We're going to, Dark Ritual. This is the sixth card to the graveyard here. We'll cycle Drain a Stinger, Cabal Ritual, cycle the Stinger, another Deadly Dispute. So we'll sacrifice the Great Furnace. There we go. Cabal Ritual, play Songs of the Damned. We'll play Ardent Elementalist. Trigger will return Songs of the Damned. Deadly Dispute, sacrificing the Ardent Elementalist. Cycle Barrenmore. Cycle Horror of the Broken Lands. Dark Ritual. I think I'm going to hold off on this Deadly Dispute. Wolf Songs of the Damned. And now Reaping the Graves. Street Wraiths first. And then other stuff. Okay, so you might be saying, why not play out my Stingers now rather than Cycle? I don't think we actually have the win yet. And I think that just like wasting resources to play out stingers too early is a way that a lot of newer Cycle Storm players lose. So we're going to, we're trying to avoid that. Okay, well Songs of the Damned I think changes this. Or does it? I'm not sure. Maybe I should just keep cycling. Alright, we'll make 10 mana. 20 mana plus a Ardent Elementalist should be good enough. We'll make red. Play the Elementalist. Return Reaping the Graves. We'll Deadly Dispute, sacrificing the Ardent Elementalist. Cabal Ritual. And we still have not played a land yet, and I'm not going to. 
because I get drawn to a great furnace and then I can play the other Drannis Stinger. Okay, there we go. So now we'll play the Great Furnace, play the Drannis Stinger. Just like riding a bike. I love this deck. Like, I haven't played it in two months, but I still feel like I have the mechanics down. Get it? Bike cycling? Ha ha! Alright. And now we just keep cycling. Cycle the street rate down to 10. Cycle Monstrous Carabid. Play out Lotus Petal. Cycle the Dranith Healer. Dark Ritual. For Storm 20, we'll play Reaping the Graves. Alright. Now that our Reaping the Graves have selected all the targets, we'll return them. And something that comes up in the comment sections a lot is, Bryant, why do you usually cycle with Reaping the Graves still on the stack? And I know that we sort of did it in round number one already, but I might as well explain it. So if you cycle with Reaping the Graves on the stack, you're leaving the most number of creatures possible in the graveyard. That's relevant because we are, in fact, a deck with Songs of the Damned in it. So if you cast Reaping the Graves, return all of your creatures, and then start cycling, and then you draw Songs of the Damned, it's going to make less mana. We don't want to make less mana, we want to make more mana. So because of that, you cycle with Reaping the Graves still on the stack. And our final cycle of the game. Sweet. Now we go to the post-board games. All right, I'm definitely interested in Pyroblast, Glaring Pain. So some lists have Relic in the sideboard. I don't know if that's a card I actually want to board in for. I feel like it's a little bit of a trap. Like, we might be able to just beat Relic anyway, depending on when they draw it. And a lot of lists only have, like, two. So I'm going to choose to not side in Ingature and hope to get away with that. And then I think we want to board out a couple copies of Lotus Petal. And then maybe the Horror of the Broken Lands. And I think Mystical Teachings, which seems crazy. But the thing about Teachings is, our opponent is a deck that's going to be bringing in Dispel and other counter magic. And, well, Mystical Teachings has a pretty big target on it. So I want to avoid that. Our opponent boarded up to 61. We've opened up a pretty good hand. I mean, I'm going to keep this. It has the potential to win out of nowhere. They've now taken a mulligan to five. Now down to four. So I think they're just mulliganing for their relic. Our opponent plays a guild gate and passes. Okay. I like the Baron more draw. We'll play that. So I know that we didn't board in Ingot Chewer for relic. But one thing that can happen in a situation like this is you play a card that isn't a creature to the graveyard. So let's say our opponent has relic and then they play it and pass. But they're, they're light on lands. At some point, they tap out and just, like, leave Relic open because we don't really develop. Like, you want to look like you're not going to do anything. So, you don't cycle, you just kind of sit here, you, you know, hold by. Your opponent taps out. On the end step, you play a Deadly Dispute, and then that way they exile a land that you don't care about, and then you untap and win. So, they play a Seagate, Dark Ritual. I'm going to pass. You could think about trying to go off here, but it's pretty risky. Our opponent plays Preordained, sure. They put two cards on the top. They play a gate, and now they're passing. All right, on the end step, we'll cycle a Monstrous Carabid. Cycle Imposing Vantasaur. Stinger. Another Street Wraith. Let's cycle Imposing Vantasaur. Cycle Dranith Healer. Another Deadly Dispute. Cycle Street Wraith. Play the Vault of Whispers, pass. So another way you can beat Relic without boarding in and get sure is to have set yourself up to have double Songs of the Damned and try to get them to bite on a Songs of the Damned. And if they don't crack the Relic in response to Songs, you'll want double Reaping the Graves. They play a Brainstorm. Bajuka Bog. That was not one that I was expecting here. Okay, yeah, you have a Bajuka Bog. I was not ready for that. That is not usually a card that I see when studying deck lists. So our opponent is sort of doing their own thing. And then they play Squadron Hawk. We lost one Street Wraith, but no Stingers with that Bajuka Bog. On the end step, we'll cycle Dranith Stinger. We find a Baron Moor. Healer. We'll cycle Street Wraith. Okay. That's a Dark Ritual. Cycle Healer. Cycle Dranith Healer again. We're going to use the red mana. I feel like black mana is a little bit more valuable in this spot. Cycle the Imposing Vantasaur. Cycle the Monstrous Carabid. We're already back up to six creatures. That's good. We'll play the Great Furnace. 
Songs of the Dam for six. Deadly Dispute, Sacrificing Vault of Whispers. Okay, we find a Reaping the Graves. Well, Deadly Dispute again, Sacrificing Great Furnace. Okay. Running a little bit light on mana. We'll add a red. Deadly Dispute again. I'm going to float black. Storm is five. Play out the Lotus Petal. Cycle the Dranid Stinger. Another Stinger. We'll cycle that. 31 cards left in deck. Cycle the Healer. And I'm going to... I guess I still have three Lotus Petals. Okay, I talked myself into it. I was going to play the song first, but I think I actually want the extra mana now. Cycle Monsters Carabid. Okay, we'll make a black. Pass Songs of the Damned. Ten mana. We started this turn on zero creatures in Graveyard. Cycle the Baron Moor. All right, we'll cycle this Imposing Vantasaur. Dark Ritual. Reaping the Graves. It's going to be for nine. So we're not going to be able to get back every creature. So you definitely want to return Street Wraith first. And then Dranid Stingers. Right now we're really just looking for more Songs of the Damned. Cycle Street Wraith. Speaking of, there's a the Songs of the Damned. But we're not ready to win yet, so we're just going to keep cycling. And as you can see here, by leaving Songs of the Damned in my hand, I can keep cycling and potentially add more creatures to the graveyard. And then cast the Songs of the Damned later for more than 11 mana. My fear here is that we did start the game by exiling five creatures to the Bajuka Bog, but we'll see how it pans out. Cycle the Healer. Another Songs of the Damned. That's good. So at this point, I'm just looking for Lotus Petals, and then we can try to win. The Ball Ritual. Cycle Monstrous Carabid. There's a Lotus Petal. Cycle the Imposing Vantasaur. Deadly Dispute. And then I guess we can return the Vantasaur here. And then we'll cycle, because if we draw another creature, I could, in theory, in theory, make more mana. But I didn't. So we'll play out the Lotus Petal. Songs of the Damned. Songs of the Damned. Reaping the Graves. This will return everything. All right, so we've selected all of our targets. The cards are coming home. And it ended up not mattering, but hypothetically, if our opponent left open mana or discarded a Prismatic Strands, we could win using the Flaring Pain through the Prismatic Strands. Make a red. Let's play out a Stinger. Cycle Street Wraith. Auto yield to some of these abilities. Cycle Healer. Still no more Lotus Petals, so we'll keep cycling. We have two left in the deck, 15 cards. Cycle another Healer. Cast a Cabal Ritual. Cycle Monstrous Carabid. Cycle Monstrous Carabid. We have plenty of mana. Mana is not the choke point. We just need to deal lethal damage before, you know, we dock. But that should be pretty easy. We have enough mana. And you never have to dock unless you don't want to, really. Because you can respond to the draw abilities. You just have to turn off your auto yields. So if you're watching this and you're like, but how do you deal more damage than your opponent has life? You just respond to the draw of the cycle. And then you cycle again, dealing more damage. Okay. Drew a Street Wraith. Cycle the Street Wraith, the Ball Ritual, Cycle Stinger. I swear I have more Lotus Petals in here, but we don't actually need them. But it just would have made things a little bit easier. Six cards left in deck. Cycle Monstrous Carabid, and our opponent concedes. All right, that makes it easy. We are now 1-0. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a Magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. Round number two, we're on the draw. No lands, no keep. Send it back. Aye, aye, aye. We're going to five. We'll try this one. Our opponent is also on a mulligan to five. We'll put Baron Moore on the bottom and Imposing Vantasaur. Swamp. We'll play Vault of Whispers past the turn. No second land. So on my mind, what I'm thinking about here is Bajuka Bog. We want to try to play around that the best we can. Vault of Whispers will pass. No second land. We'll cycle a Monstrous Carabid. I'm going to not cycle the Stingers. I don't want to play into Bajuka Bog. 
Especially if our opponent isn't doing anything. So we'll just make some land drops and pass. They have seven cards. Reaping the Graves. That's a good one. So we're going to pass here. And now on the end step, we're going to cycle and then untap and try to win. They find land number two. And they play a Lembas. Sure. So they're most likely on the Golgari Gardens deck. We will cycle a Drainit Stinger. We draw a Lotus Petal. Cycle Stinger. Dark Ritual. We'll untap. Reaping the Graves. Okay, so we only have four creatures, but drawing the second Reaping the Graves, I assumed I was going to draw more creatures and I didn't. But drawing the second Reaping the Graves makes me feel a little bit more comfortable about just casting one of these for value here. So we're going to Reaping the Graves and then return our creatures. And I'm just going to pass the turn now. The first one was just a draw four. They cycle a Troll of Kazadoom. They get a basic swamp. On the end step, we'll cycle some more. Three Wraith is not a bad one. We'll cycle Draineth Healer. Let's cycle the Baron more. And I'm going to pass. So I know that it seems like I could go for it here. And you might be right. But if our opponent wants to Bajookabog two creatures, I'm also okay with that. So instead of trying to force a win, I'm going to exercise some patience. And then I'll cycle on their end step. And then I'll be in a much better position to win on the following turn. Avenging Hunter. They find another basic swamp. On the end step, we'll cycle Drainit Stinger. Cycle a Horror of the Broken Lands. Cycle Stinger. I floated a mana, but I actually don't have a creature to draw yet. So, come on, Parallels, what are you doing? Alright, so I think now is go time. We'll play out Lotus Petal. Cabal Ritual. Cycle Drainit Healer. Cycle Monstrous Carabid. How about another Cabal Ritual? I'll take that. Deadly Dispute, Sacrificing Vault of Whispers. Deadly Dispute, Sacrifice, another Vault of Whispers. Storm is five. I'm trying to get that Storm count up a little bit. Another Cabal Ritual is a great draw. Cycle the Imposing Vantasaur. Dark Ritual. Cycle Street Wraith. Songs of the Damned. Songs of the Damned. And from here we have a very easy win. Reaping the Graves. I want to make sure that we're returning all of the Street Wraiths and Drannus Stingers because we're just going to play out some creatures and start winning. So now our Reaping the Graves is resolving. I am going to play out three Stingers and just start stinging. Pew pew, pew pew. Our opponent could have Snuff Out, but honestly, I just don't think it matters. Stinger number one. Number two, Spinning Darkness. So this one gains them life. I guess I'll kill them in response. You just had to go and make it difficult, huh? I guess I could Deadly Dispute it, and then their spell fizzles, so let's do that. So Spinning Darkness will fizzle. Granite Stinger. We'll play another. And now they snuff out. So we can cycle in response. Cycle a Monstrous Carabid. And we're just going to ping them until they're at zero. Okay. Cycle the Horror of the Broken Lands. We have 21 cards left. We draw a Lotus Petal, we'll cycle Draineth Healer. They go to 9. Cycle another Draineth Healer. Cast a Cabal Ritual because I can. Cycle Imposing Vantasaur. This will bring them down to 7. Cycle Baron Moor. They're at 6. Cycle Street Wraith. Again, I'll go down to 8 life. And now they're at 4, so they can't even snuff out again. Cycle the Monstrous Carabid. This brings them down to two. Songs of the Dam for 15 mana. Pretty good. All right, so I'm going to be lazy here. I don't want to have to Reaping the Graves again, so I'm going to Deadly Dispute my Stinger. Another Songs. Unfortunately, it looks like I have to. Reaping the Graves. And our opponent concedes. Sweet. I'm going to try just bringing in two Ingot Chewers here over Horror of the Broken Lands, and then we'll see how it goes. Most of us play like one or two relics or uh, Nile spell bombs in the sideboard. It's not a guarantee, but sometimes. And while you kind of want something to deal with them, so that way you can still win the game easily. So I don't want to overboard. We're just going to try a couple here. We will keep. Turn one, Colony Garden. Vault of Whispers, pass the turn. Troublemaker, oof. So they're going to exile my Vault of Whispers. That's fine. Cycle the Healer. We'll play Baron Moor past the turn. Another Colony Garden. They swing for two. You got it. 
Great Furnace, pass the turn. I like drawing the Ingature here in case our opponent does have a Relic that they're holding on to. They cycle a Troll of Kazadoom. They pick up a Haunted Mire. We'll follow the 16. Then Step cycled the Dranit Stinger. Cycle Dranit Stinger. We draw Healer. Trying to hit a land here. Cycle the Dranit Healer. We'll play Baron Moor. Pass the turn. They attack for two. I'll fall to 14. Thorn of the Black Rose. Our opponent just gave us a green light to try to win the game. We'll cycle Monstrous Carabid. It's our fifth creature in the graveyard. We draw another Stinger. We'll play the Great Furnace. Dark Ritual. Cycle Dranith Stinger. We have seven in graveyard. I'll play Cabal Ritual. Cycle Dranith Healer. So there's an interesting decision to be had here on whether or not you ingature your own land because it makes two mana with Songs of the Damned. But the downside is that if you draw multiple Deadly Disputes, you can't cast them all. But here I also get two Storm between Reaping the Grave, but like both Reaping the Graves. So I think... Ooh, I actually messed up. I'm so used to always clicking Evoke first. I should have Sacrificed first. Because then I could have responded by going off and seeing if I could have drawn a Deadly Dispute. I, I've never had that come up before. This is the first time. Okay. Oh, wait. Did I actually do it in the right order? Okay. I accidentally did it on the right order. Songs of the Damned. I'm going to... I've already played two Cabal Rituals. I... I'm going to show you another trick here. It might not be right in this spot, but I'm going to do it. I'm going... Oh, I guess I didn't hold priority. I hit the wrong key. Okay, and now we can Reaping the Graves. So what you could have done there is hold priority on the Songs of the Dam, cast Reaping the Graves and cycle, and then maybe build that Reaping the Graves up to make more mana, but you also used it for Storm Count. Cycle Dranith Healer, cycle Imposing Vantasaur, another Songs of the Dam, that's good. Cycle Stinger, another Songs of the Dam, I'll take it. Cycle Stinger, a Ball Ritual, Cycle Dranith Healer, Cycle Monstrous Carabid, and there's Deadly Dispute. So now we can Deadly Dispute the land we were going to destroy. And now we can continue to cycle here. Cycle Monstrous Carabid, and now we'll return the final uh, healer. So this Destroy Target Artifact trigger is never going to resolve. So we got multiple mana out of this Ingature, Storm, and we got to sacrifice the Ingature, which is pretty cool. We'll play a Deadly Dispute, Sacrificing Great Furnace, Lotus Petal, the Ball Ritual. The, the, so this is actually all of the Songs of the Damned. There are no more left in the deck. Reaping the Graves for 14. The opponent concedes the match. We're 2-0. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and mana tokens, as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. On the play again for the third round. All day keep. It's probably like the 12th time I've said it in this video, but I love this deck so much. So many micro decisions that end up mattering in the long run on a long combo turn. Like it's what, it's what I'm built for. I just love it so much. Like all these intricate decisions. Like some people look at this deck and they're like, oh, well you do the same thing every game. It's kind of boring. Not really. Not if you enjoy solving the matrix in order to get to that final endpoint. I mean, it's really something else. And it makes every game unique and I just love it so much. We'll play turn one Great Furnace. Send it. Fire Bluff Bridge. It's so likely Affinity. I guess it could be the Wildfire Control deck. Ooh, this might be a turn three win. Depends on what our draws look like off these street rates, but I kind of want to go for a turn three. All right, it's the Jeskai Wildfire deck, and they're not going to tap out, so we're not going to go for a turn three here. Come on, play a Wildfire. What's the worst that could happen? They're going to Wildfire me. All right, come on, Deadly Dispute. Let's see it. Cycle Street Wraith. Great Furnace, Cycle Street Wraith. Deadly Dispute. I want you. Come on. There we go. 
Deadly Dispute, The Vault of Whispers. Nice Cleansing Wildfire. Unfortunately, we didn't hit any songs that am there, so I'm not convinced we can try to win. Cycle the Healer. We'll play a Greed Furnace, pass the turn. We had a window to win, but our deck kind of just, like, didn't draw mana, and that's fine. We can try to win later. Cycle Draineth Healer. We'll play Vault of Whispers, pass. On the end step, they cycle a Lorien Revealed. Augur of Bola, so they're strongly representing Counterspell. They find another Cleansing Wildfire. On the end step, we'll cycle a Draineth Stinger. Cycle Horror of the Broken Lands. And a Draineth Healer. We're 33% of the way through our deck. Vault of Whispers. Pass the turn. They cycle another Lorien Revealed. Picking up another Snow-Covered Island. They attack, we'll go to 13. Cleansing Wildfire on their own bridge at this time. Probably the better move. Okay, Counterspell Mana is still available here. Let's start by cycling Horror of the Broken Lands. Dark Ritual will cycle Baron Moor. Imposing Vantasaur is a good one. Cycle that. I'm going to try to bait out a Counterspell here with the Deadly Dispute. See if they're silly enough to counterspell this. Come on, it's such a good bait spell. You know you want to. It's just a little draw too. All right, we're going to try to jam here. Dark Ritual. Dark Ritual. What about a Songs of the Damned? This one you want to counterspell, right? Yeah, they're going to counterspell. All right, so now we can win. We will sacrifice that for a blue. Mystical Teachings. Let's use the red man up. We'll go grab another Songs of the Damned. Cycle the Monstrous Carabed. Another Reaping the Grays. We'll play out some Lotus Petals. Cycle the Baron more. Songs of the Damned for 12. Cycle the Imposing Vantasaur. Monstrous Carabid. Dark Ritual. We're now going to flashback Mystical Teachings. And we'll go grab another copy of Songs of the Damned. Makes 14 mana. We have 19 mana. And now we're going to play Reaping the Graves. And we're just going to play out a couple stingers and start to win. 18 total mana, two stingers. Like, this is deterministic. Like, I don't know. There's no way I can mess this up here. Okay. Play the stinger. Play stinger. And now we just cycle it all the way home. 10 cycles. Another Horror of the Broken Lands. I try to always cycle in bunches. So I like auto yielding. You could, in theory, hit F6. But I'm a paranoid person. I'm afraid of passing the turn on accident. So I don't do that. But if you just cycle the same creatures and then auto yield, you get a similar effect. There is an extra click here or there, but it's, you know, similar enough. And I guess we'll do street rates now. They're at four. Now they're about to go to two. And then we'll finish them off with an imposing Vantasaur. All right, on to the post board games. Okay, so I think one of the best things you can do in this matchup is just bring in your basics. And it's going to sound crazy, but I'm going to board out Lotus Petal. By bringing in lands and boarding out Lotus Petal, I'm reducing my mulligan rate. And that's really what you want in control matchups. After that, I want Pyroblast. So we're at 63 at the moment. This isn't really a speed matchup, so you can board down a couple of copies of Cabal Ritual. And then we'll board out both copies of Horror of the Broken Lands. Maybe we'll bring in one Ingot Chewer. I see a lot of lists that have two Relics in there, but it's not really a card I want. So I'm going to board in one Ingot Chewer. I don't know how I feel about this, but we're going to try it. Opponent very quickly on a mulligan to five. I'm going to lead on Great Furnace and see if they try to blow it up and that I can go get a basic, which would be great. No land number two. Do I show them the basic mountain? I'm going to cycle Street Wraith. I really don't want to play out of Baron Moor here, but maybe I'll have to. Yeah, I'll play Baron Moor. Pass the turn. And they just conceded. Okay. Well, we're 3-0. Two matches left. If you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. This time we're on the draw, and I'll keep. Gardens again. Okay. Vault of Whispers, pass. Icker Wellspring, you've got it. On the end step, we'll cycle a Monstrous Carabid. We draw a Cabal Ritual. I'll cycle a Draineth Healer. I'm looking for a land that isn't Baron Moor. We do not find one. I'm forced to play out the Baron Moor. Pass. 
They play a Lembas, so they get to scry one and draw a card. Golgari Rot Farm. They pick up the basic swamp and ouch from the plant token, sending a message. Cycle Monstrous Carabid. Another Cabal Ritual. I mean, I could try to win here. So Dark Ritual, Cycle, Stinger. All right, we're going to go for it. Dark Ritual, Cycle the Stinger. Three Wraith was a very good draw. Cycle that. All Deadly Dispute. If I draw Dark Ritual, I, I can, or even a land here, I can get Threshold without having to burn a Songs of the Damned. But I didn't draw any other creatures to cycle anyway, so it ended up not being relevant. All right, I'm going to Reaping the Graves. I'm not going to use any of these Songs of the Damned yet, because I think I can get more than five mana out of them. Cycle Street Wraith. Another Deadly Dispute. I'll cast it, Sacrifice the Great Furnace. Maybe I can't get more than five out of these. Holy moly. Cycle. There we go. Another Street Wraith is good. Here we go. Cycle Street Wraith. And now we'll cycle Healer. I'm sorry, cycle the Monstrous Carabid. So I got two extra mana out of the first one. And now I can return Healer, cycle that. And then we'll return Monstrous Carabid. So I got two mana by just sequencing differently. Dark Ritual, cycle Baron Moor, Lotus Petal, Lotus Petal. Well, Reaping the Graves. I'm going to not use the Songs of the Damned again for the same reason. Right now, they'd only make seven. We have triple Street Wraith. I'm going to just try to eke out a little bit more value out of these. A lot more Storm at the moment than cards in Graveyard. Or creature cards in Graveyard, I should say. All right, let's cycle some Street Wraiths. Cabal Ritual is a good draw. We'll play the Cabal Ritual. Cycle Imposing Vantasaur. Deadly Dispute. I'm going to save that for this Ardent Elementalist. Cycle the Baron more. Now we'll cycle the Monstrous Carabid, cycle Dranith Healer, cycle Monstrous Carabid, and now Songs makes 10 mana. So we waited and got three extra mana out of the first one. Okay, so now let's play Ardent Elementalist. We'll get back a Songs of the Damned, Deadly Dispute the Elementalist, and now we'll continue to cycle. Well, a lot of lands, but that's fine. I mean, we're still in a good spot here. Dark Ritual, Cycle the Horror, Cycle the Imposing Vantasaur, Lotus Petal, Songs of the Dam for 15. So that one made 15 mana. I had three songs earlier on this game, and I could have played that for five, but I didn't think it was the right choice. Um, I should have cycled in the middle there, but I was too busy flapping my gums. So not everything I do is perfect. We will Reaping the Graves and then try to win. All right, we've selected our targets, and now we bring all of our friends back. Red, play a Stinger. And they don't have a Swamp, so they can't play Snuff Out. Play another Stinger. The only way we can lose this game now is if I cycle too many Street Wraiths, so we're just not going to do that. And now we start Stinging. Cycle some Monstrous Carabids. And another. We drew the fourth Street Wraith. Reminder, do not cycle three of them. 13 cards left in deck, that's plenty. Cycle the Healer. Drew another Stinger. We, I guess we could play it. Why not? Cycle a Horror of the Broken Lands. Imposing Vantasaur. And that's game number one versus Golgari Gardens. Once again, I think you just want a couple copies of Ingot Chewer, And then we'll side out two copies of Horror of the Broken Lands. Okay, game two. I think we'll try this. Opponent with a very fast mulligan to five. Like, instantly. Like, snap mull, snap mull. Seconds. What I like about our current hand is that I can just be patient and not cycle if I want to. And I can beat Relic that way or Bazooka Bog just by being patient and waiting. They play Basic Swamp and Relic. Sure. They mulliganed hard for the Relic and, well, we're just not going to play into it. We'll play Great Furnace past the turn. You know, I haven't thought about it, but I suppose, in theory, I could just go like, Monstrous Carabid Beatdown. It doesn't die to Snuff Out. It doesn't die to Spinning Darkness. But in my experience, these people tend to leave a lot of removal in their deck. And I don't know if that's necessarily the best game plan. They play land number three. They attack and pass. Sure. Deadly Dispute. We're just going to keep passing. They don't have to do anything here. And step they Reckoner's Bargain the plant. Sure. And now they play a Duress. 
I'm going to allow this to resolve. I could try to cycle in response or deadly dispute. I think that both of those things just make you worse off, and I'm not going to do that. They take the Songs of the Damned. Sure. Which is Cottage. They have three cards remaining. Reaping the Graves. Pass. And step Deadly Dispute, sacrificing Vault of Whispers. They have five cards in hand, down to four. Thorn of the Black Rose. All right, on the end step, I'm going to Deadly Dispute here. They Relic to eat my land, that's fine. You draw two more lands. Okay, I was thinking about maybe trying to win, but if I just drew two lands, I don't think that's like on the table. Pass the turn. Now they exile the Deadly Dispute, and they attack for one. I go to 19. Picker Wellspring, you've got it. Fanatical Offering. And now they cycle a Troll of Kazadoom. So they're drawing a card. Hmm. I can't but wonder if this is a spot where I should maybe try to go for it. But my fear is that I have no mana. I'm just going to untap. Vault of Whispers, pass. I understand I could have played Monsters Care a bit. I don't think that's or like a winning line in this game. Especially when they have a Thorn of the Black Rose on the table. We've seen 25% of our deck, but we only have two ingot chewers in the deck, so that's a concern of mine. Dress here is going to hit my Reaping the Graves. That hurts. They play a Lembas and a second Relic. Okay, maybe it is time to pivot into Beatdown. Let's start by cycling the Baron more. Sure. Granite Stinger. Let's play out a... Actually, hold on. Is that how I want to tap? Let's play out a Healer. Pass the turn. Crypt Rats. Yeah, that hurts. Cycle Baron more. All right, I'm good to go to the next game. We did not draw our Ingot Chewer nearly fast enough. And our opponent never tapped out. We didn't have anything coming either. No mana, no Ingot Chewer, no action. Wow. Okay. So we saw that in game number two, they mulliganed really aggressively for the Relic. I'm going to bring in one more Ingot Chewer. We'll set out a Cabal Ritual. And we'll try this. On the play. Sure, we'll keep. Play the Baron more, pass. Basic Swamp and a Relic. Great Furnace right on time. We're going to Evoke. Click on the Evoke trigger first, so that way the Relic is destroyed before the creature will go to the graveyard. Nothing in there, buddy. Goodbye. Get out of here. Pass the turn. They cycle a Troll of Cause of Doom. Duress. Okay. Good hand, good hand. They'll take my Reaping the Graves. We'll cycle a Vantasaur. Cycle another Vantasaur. Cycle Monstrous Carabid. No third land, we'll pass. They play Lembas. No land. Cycle Draneth Healer. We'll cycle another Healer. Vault of Whispers. Alright, if I find another Reaping the Graves, I'm going to try to do something. They find their third land. Cycle the Imposing Vantasaur. You draw Street Wraith. Okay, come on, Reaping the Graves. Let's see it. Cycle the Baron more. Cycle Drain Stinger, our last cycle. I'm going to pass. I could Dark Ritual Deadly Dispute. I think it's a little risky. I need to keep my cards for Storm. They Deadly Dispute the Lembas. Yep. Bajookabog. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's a lot of creatures. I don't know what to do. Was I supposed to Dark Ritual Deadly Dispute on my main phase? It just seemed really risky to me. There's three Reaping the Graves and one Mystical Dispute. That's nine creatures about to be exiled. All right, Dark Ritual. Deadly Dispute, Sacrifice the Great Furnace. And I would have wrecked last turn. Okay, they get my entire graveyard. And another Relic! No! Oh, I've lost this. Okay, nothing I did matter. I needed to draw better on that previous turn, and I did not. Pass. They play a Tithing Blade. Vault of Whisper. Still no, not, no good draws here. Deadly Dispute. It's unfortunate because I do think that this is a good matchup, but these post board games have been a little bit brutal. Relic again. That's three Relics. And a Bajooka Bog. So they're playing a little bit more Graveyard Heat than the average list. We'll pass. They play another Draw Spell. My hand is all mana. Roll of Cause of Doom. They exile the song. So one of the few ways I could win this is if I drew into like a deadly dispute here and then chained a bunch of draw spells into a win. Reaping the graves I needed you turns ago. I'm good to concede here. Okay, so 
you can't win all of them. Sometimes you lose. Sometimes you get hit by a lot of graveyard. It happens. We're three and one, which is still great. We're going to try to keep our head up and win the fifth and final match. I'll see you there. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as 7 tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. The final round, we're on the play. Keep, 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 keep. This hand is great. Big fan. Vault of Whispers, past the turn. Okay, basic swamp. I'll cycle the Imposing Vantasaur. Another Lotus Petal. All right, we're a little bit light on creatures. We could certainly use uh, a creature or two off of the Monstrous Carabid. Another swamp. Looks like Golgari Gardens again. Maybe we can get revenge for last match. Cycle the Monstrous Carabid. We find land three, but what we really wanted was creatures. We're going to pass. They play a colony garden. We draw a dark ritual. Things are not looking good. They play a deadly dispute. And now they cycle a troll of cause of doom. They play a swamp and campfire. We draw another land. Ay, 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 pass. Like my deck actually has a pretty high number of creatures in it. Like 22 creatures, four deadly disputes. But we've drawn the wrong part of the deck. And now they play a Reckoner's Bargain. They cycle a Troll of Cause of Doom. They play a Swamp and an Icar Wellspring. Sure. They have eight cards in hand. They discard a Drown in Sorrow. We finally draw a third creature. Let's go. Cycle it. And then we draw Dark Ritual. We'll play Lotus Petal and pass. It's not worth it trying to win with only three creatures. Four is incredibly sketchy. Like five and up is usually okay. They play another copy of Lembes, four mana for a Thorn of the Black Rose, Bajukabog. Well, I don't even have to burn a Dark Ritual here. We'll just play Reaping the Graves and return all three creatures. And now the Bajukabog will exile the Reaping the Graves. End step will cycle a Monstrous Carabid. We draw a land, cycle Imposing Vantasaur, play Great Furnace, cycle Stinger. Cycle Healer, Dark Ritual, Cycle Stinger. We're at 33% through our deck right now. Cycle the Horror of the Broken Lands. Cycle Street Wraith. We'll burn another Dark Ritual. Cycle Dranith Healer. Cycle Baronmore. Cycle Monstrous Carabid. All right, Cycle Dranith Stinger. I'm not going to Songs of the Damned just to cycle one Stinger. That feels really risky to me. If they have a second main deck Bajukabog and they can play it this turn, you've got me. Like, you earned it. I will, you know, accept my loss. They attack for one. I'll fall to 15. Avenging Hunter. My time is running out. I need to draw a card that does something. Now they'll draw off the Monarch Trigger. They discard a bunch of removal. Baron Moore. Let's start by cycling Baron Moore. So we have... Mystical, dis I'm sorry, Mystical Teachings, Deadly Disputes, Reaping the Graves. These are all things I want. Well, Cabal Ritual. Cycle Imposing Vantasaur. Cycle Baron Moore. We're 50% of the way through the deck at this point. I feel like I'm due to draw something that isn't bad. Cycle the Stinger. Nope. Oh my. <laughs> There's not even anything for me to return with the Ardent Elementalist. I have to pass. This game has been something else. So they can put two counters on a creature, so they attack for eight. And then if they have another Avenging Hunter, they can move into Trap and I'll lose five, putting me to two. And it looks like they do have another Avenging Hunter. Oh, Crypt Rats. I'm dead to Crypt Rats. Right? No, Crypt Rats would also put me to two. We've seen a lot of cards this game and our deck did not cooperate. So this next card I see, I'd like it if it was a good one. A Fanatical Offering. Another Campfire. Come on, deck, please don't fail me. Draw. Cycle Draineth Healer. Like, I would even take a Deadly Dispute, because at least with Ardent Elementalist, I could get it back. There we go. We'll make 15 mana. Deadly Dispute, Sacrificing a Great Furnace. And there's a Teachings. We'll make a blue. Cast Teachings. 
Go grab a Reaping the Graves. We'll play Ardent Elementalist. Return Songs of the Damned. Play Songs of the Damned. Let's flashback teachings. We'll pick up another Reaping the Graves. Lotus Petal. Play another Lotus Petal. Songs of the Damned. Songs of the Damned. Songs of the Damned. And now we'll Reaping the Graves for 12. So we're in a spot here where it's foolish to play out more than one Stinger. So we're just not going to do it. We have enough mana and cards where we can just cycle and beat the removal. We'll start by cycling a Horror of the Broken Lands. They play a Defile. I will cycle a Dranith Healer. Let's cycle another Dranith Healer. I guess I'll auto yield to some spells here. Once I start getting low, I'll turn it off. Okay. Just keep cycling. Dark Ritual. Cabal Ritual. Cycle the Monstrous Caravid. Already down to 17 minutes. I need to get this moving. Cycle the Monstrous Caravid. Cycle the Horror of the Broken Lands. Cycle Draineth Healer. Cycle Monstrous Caravid. Cycle Stinger. And now we'll Reaping the Graves. They cast a Deadly Dispute in response to some of the copies of Reaping the Graves. They might be digging for another removal spell here, but that doesn't matter. They're going to gain two life with Campfire. Still don't care about that. And now we'll cycle Horror of the Broken Lands. Cycle Draineth Healer. I need to turn off the auto yield soon because I'm getting very low on my deck count. Okay, keep cycling. Three cards left in deck. Cycle a Dinosaur. Two cards left in deck. All right, I'm going to leave one card just for in case something were to go wrong. And now I'll start cycling again. We can auto yield again to the Stinger ability, but not the draws. Okay, and now we just cycle until our opponent's dead. Using up a lot of time, though. We're going to respond to Deadly Dispute. I'm just going to kill them. Okay, finally, we've won game number one. Took about 10 minutes. It's a lot of time. We'll bring in Ingot Chewer. I'll try three Chewers this time instead of two. Once again, boarding out one Cabal Ritual. Actually, let's board out two Cabal Rituals, and I'll leave one more creature in the deck. Set out one Horror of the Broken Land. Let's try this. Game two on the draw. Keep. Turn one Colony Garden. Vault of Whispers, pass. They play a Swamp. Campfire, sure. And step will cycle the Monstrous Carabid. Dark Ritual. Cycle Imposing Vantasaur. They gain two, sure thing. We find our second land. Perfect. Pass. Two mana, they play a Tithing Blade. On the end step, we'll cycle Monstrous Carabid. Three creatures in the graveyard now. Vault of Whispers. I'll just pass. They gain two more. They cycle Troll of Kazadoom. They play the Swamp. End step, will Deadly Dispute, sacrificing the Great Furnace. Sacrifice the, or I'm sorry, cycle the Imposing Vantasaur. A third Reaping the Graves. Here's our random one of Horror of the Broken Lands we left in. Looks pretty good here. They gain two. Dark Ritual. Cycle the Baron Moor. Dark Ritual. Will Deadly Dispute sacrifice the Vault of Whispers? Cycle Street Wraith. Play Lotus Petal. Let's cycle Baron Moor. Great Furnace. Lotus Petal. Songs. And we'll Reaping the Graves. Street Wraith first and then other creatures. Cycle Street Wraith. Cycle the Stinger. I like drawing another Songs. That's good. Cycle the Horror of the Broken Lands. We'll return the Vantasaur. We'll tap the Great Furnace. All right, I'm going to use the songs here for seven. I don't want to use them for that little, but I just feel like we should. Cycle again. Cycle the Healer. Cycle Baron Moor. Another Reaping. We've drawn a lot of them. Uh, cycle Imposing Vantasaur again. So I guess the card that I'm worried about here would be... Uh, weather the storm, but we can beat a weather. It's not impossible. It's just annoying. We'll make 10 black. And now Carabid comes home. We'll cycle the monstrous Carabid. And our opponent has uh, un f 6 So I'm a little concerned about that, but not a whole lot we can do. Songs of the Damned. Reaping the Graves. And now I'm going to return everyone. All right, so Storm is currently 11. 
When I play the Dranith Healer, that will be Storm 12. If they play Weather, they'll be Storm 13. So they'll gain 39 life. I can deal 60-something damage. That's not a concern. I mean, it's a lot of clicks, but I can do it. All right, so we'll make a red. Play the Stinger. And you either play it now or... Okay, now I can respond to Weather. Cycle Street Wraith. Cycle Horror of the Broken Lands. We'll play a Cabal Ritual. See what they do here. Let's try another Stinger. And they do have Weather, but they waited, which is really greedy, and now I'm going to kill them. Not how you use this card. This is not it. Your, your spell's never going to resolve. Okay. So, I mean, we do have to draw some more mana in order to win. I believe we have no Songs of the Damned left. So that's kind of an issue. Normally you want more Songs of the Damned left if you're going to be Weather the Storm. But we do have some number of... We have one Cabal Ritual and a couple Dark Rituals left. It's doable. It's just tough from here. There's a Cabal Ritual. Cycle the Monstrous Carabid. Cycle Stinger. We have 16 cards left in deck. They're at 16 life. Cycle the Baron more. We will cycle Imposing Vantasaur. We are running out of mana. Dark Ritual. Reaping the Graves. I have 8 mana. They're at 13. I'm worried that I don't have enough mana left in my deck. So I have 1 Dark Ritual left, I believe. And that's just not enough. We'll cycle Street Wraith. Cycle Horror of the Broken Lands. Cycle Imposing Vantasaur. Cycle Monstrous Carabid. All right, we have nine cards left. Cycle Street Wraith. Cycle the Carabid. I think like what happened is like normally I'd win here, but we don't have enough mana because we used all of our Songs of the Damned. Cycle the Carabid. There's Street Wraith. So maybe if I draw Dark Ritual, and I didn't, one, two, three. If I would have, okay, if my next draw is Dark Ritual, uh, hold on. I have, I have a Reaping. So if my next draw is Dark Ritual, I can still win. There's four cards left in deck, so we have a 25% chance. Otherwise, I'm on six minutes for game three. It was not Dark Ritual. We lost. Brutal. Ah, uh, I just needed more mana in my deck. And the next card is Dark Ritual. Because I could have gone Dark Ritual, Reaping, get three Street Wraiths and win that way. Maybe it was my own fault for playing the Stinger. I would add two more mana. And I could have never given them the spot to win there. All right, we didn't see a Relic. I'm going to bring Cabal 3 back in. And let's try this. On the play, five minutes. Keep. And because I'm so low on time, I'm just going to do everything as fast as I can. Cycle, Swamp, Relic. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Okay, I think because I'm so low on time, I'm just going to play a Stinger. Hope that they have no removal. Like, that's the best I can do here. Five minutes on clock, I'm not going to have enough time. They play a Duress. They take my Reaping. Sure. Ingot Chewer's not bad. Kill the Relic. Play Baramor. Attack for two. They block. Interesting. We'll cycle the Imposing Vantasaur and pass. I'm also starting to lag a little bit. I don't like that. All right, we're going to cycle Street Wraith now. Okay, cycle again. Four minutes left on clock. They find land number three. Let's attack with the Stinger. Dark Ritual. All right, Horror of the Broken Lands. Let's go. Two mana for a fanatical offering. Holy moly, am I going to be able to do this? Come on, no black land. No black land. Okay. Here's our window. I'm going to be able to do a lot of damage here. Cycle the Horror of the Broken Lands. Or, I'm sorry, the Vantasaur Horror Triggers. We'll play Great Furnace. Cycle the Vantasaur. Cycle the Monstrous Carabid. This brings them to 12. That's lethal. We did it! We did it! Holy moly, five minutes. A couple minutes to spare, even. All right, we got the 4-1. We had some bad draws against Golgari Gardens in the post-board games in round four, but I really do believe that's a positive matchup. We didn't face red today. I'm happy with the 4-1. I still wouldn't change anything about the deck list. I think it's perfect. I did try to play the... I still have it on my account, this Grixis list. It was not good. Uh, I really don't think Tahata's Ploy is a card this deck wants. I also, like, I don't know. Like, the basics in the main deck, 
I, I fizzle the number of times. I just love the current list. And I know it's boring to play the same 75 for like six months or whatever, but this list is tried and true. And I really like it. Hopefully you do too. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day. And as always, keep storming. What you should do is like, comment, and subscribe because there's no better way to support us. And if you enjoyed this video, head over to moxfield.com and follow us there. It's truly the best deck website on the internet. We update all of our decks there regularly with the latest and greatest technology, so you're always up to date. Once again, go check out Moxfield, and thank you for watching.